Testing for leaving Badajoz. Yep, we're at the motorway. Long straight road and miles and miles of countryside again. At last, some mountains in the distance. Fair way away, but they are mountains. Well, that's two hours. Time to uh, have a rest. And call in here, get some diesel for the car, and get a little bit of food for me. And then we'll be on our way again. And just turn into here like this. Oh, it's good, Mr. Repsol garages. Hey, there we go. There we go. There we go. Have something to eat myself first, I think. There's the restaurant. Yeah, it's very nice. Big mountains. Snow on that mountain top. Yeah. Must be cold up there. Getting overcast now. Temperatures dropped quite a little bit. That's Salamanca in the distance, about three miles. Just coming into the suburbs of Salamanca. I'm sorry about the dirty windscreen, but it's been just over three and a half hours drive, just over 300 kilometers. And I can't miss all the midges and insects. Right, uh, I'll get myself in and see if I can find where I'm staying without any problems this time. Catch you later. Well, you know how it works by now. They go and check in, park the car, then go and find somewhere to have that first beer in the new place. Today, have I turned lucky. The first place I find is an Irish bar with a proper beautiful pint of Guinness, which is what you now see on the screen. And I deserve that, because when I got to Salamanca, Finding the hotel itself was difficult. Finding the car park entrance was even more difficult. The door was disguised in such a way that had it been a sniper, it'd certainly have had me the three times that I passed it and could not see it. I eventually had to go back to the hotel and ask somebody to show me where it was. But there you go. The drive itself here though long at three and a half hours was Steady, nice drive. Lots of different countryside and very little traffic. Right, I'm going to get on with my beer now. Thank you for listening to me. Usually, when you get to any big city or big town for that matter, the best place to start is always Plaza Mayor because that's where it is, it's the main plaza. This is the one in Salamanca, and I'll just show you around it. ground floor though. All you can see are tables and chairs. Everything's table and chairs. Right. Lots of school children there. Right. But a slap bang in the middle, there's a massive set of what do you call them? What's it cabins? That's it, them cabins. And loads of railings and things, so whether it's being set up for something or being taken down for something, who knows. But what we'll do is we'll move up a level like that, we'll show you, I'll show you the buildings as we go. There we go. That's the top level. There's the main bits over there, the main bit over there, and the main bit round here. And I'm going to walk over the other side now, so you can see what's behind me. Which is probably more of the same of what we've just seen, I would imagine. But um, you never know. Right, even more children. So, let's turn round and see what's behind us. the 
the arch I've just come through and then over to that corner. Right, that's your look at uh, Plaza Mayor of Salamanca. Okay, I think I'll walk this way. Don't laugh at that. It's not walking in a funny way. I'll take this direction. How about that? Is that better? Um, as it's a bit area and uh, the wind's blowing because it is uh, it's a little bit uh, chilly. But anyway, it's obviously cooler inland than it is on the coast. There we go, man. Coming into a little square here with a bit of greenery. As you can see, it's busy. Lots of people out and about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we'll go down that other way over there. And then I'll stop boring you. There you go. In English, we're farmers. There you go. Could be in Dublin. There's a building hiding behind that tree. But, um, I'll try and find out what that is tomorrow. Once I've got my surroundings all sorted out. And there's another big old building at the end of here. Which again, I'll sort out ready for tomorrow. I'm right, going to stop there. Believe it or not, this is the entrance to the public library. This is the uh, little square down at the bottom here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Move that that way, make it a bit, a little bit darker. Galleries up there. The books have obviously got to be on the inside. I'll find that out tomorrow. <laughs>